today we are testing out our new pop-up screen room from Alvantor. Hi, I'm Amanda from Two Doves Nation and we actually got this pop-up screen room for Christmas. Thank you mom and dad. We love being outdoors, especially with our casita because it's smaller so we like to spend a lot of time outdoors. But sometimes the bugs are just too crazy and you can't enjoy it. So we wanted to give a pop-up screen room a try. This one is supposed to be very easy to set up and tear down. We're gonna see just how easy it is today. I am planning on unwrapping, setting up, and tearing this sucker down by myself. So let's get started. When we got this screen room as a gift, it was still in an Amazon box. It is available on Amazon, and I'm gonna put a link in the description if you're interested. But this is just how it came. It has its own little carrying bag with a shoulder strap. And you can open it up. And then it actually has setup instructions and teardown instructions on this label that's sewn on the inside. We're going to take everything out of the bag first. It does come with sandbags to help lay it down so it doesn't float away. And it does have tie downs. This is what it looks like all done up. And stakes came just like this in the bag and it's cinched down. I thought it was gonna be buckled, but it has just like a little tension release thing right here okay so the belt's undone <laughs> you can see it's 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 trying to pop out there we go now I can undo the buckle <laughs> all right oh it's bigger than what I thought bags and the stakes help it keep its shape as well but we don't have any of those we got plenty of big rocks around here so I put rocks all around it and it's keeping its shape I'm going to show you the two entrances I have it kind of open right here behind me now it actually folds up it kind of defeats the purpose to keep it open if you're wanting it to get keep out the bugs but if you're going in and out of it it helps and then you have another doorway right here and it zips all the way around and stops right here so you can roll this one up it's a lot bigger than what I thought it would be I mean down on the bottom you have a big circumference and I'm gonna bring the chairs in here just so you can see but I'm also 5'7 and this is kind of sags a little bit, so we could probably stretch it out a little bit more and it wouldn't sag so much, but I've got this much head space and I've got a big old bone on top of my head too. Let's get the chairs and show you what it looks like. I just wanted to give you an idea of how much space there is in here. These chairs are actually bigger than your normal camp chairs. They're foldable, but they're a little bit wider and it has a lot of space. I really like it. Like I said, it's bigger than what I thought it would be. It does have tie downs and places to stake and I would recommend staking down, staking out at least the corners, especially so it's flush against the ground and little buggies can't come in. I really like it. It's very spacious. The only big concern I have is the top of the pop-up. There's actually no supports or anything, so the top of the pop-up caves in. So if you were accidentally caught in a rainstorm or something like that, it would sink in and it might even collapse, but it is a pop-up, so it's made to take up and down pretty easily. That's what we're gonna do next, is see how easy it is to tear this thing down. I think this would be great to take to a beach as well or even for a picnic, a day out. 
if the bugs start to bother you. And it's small enough, it comes in that little carrying case, you can carry it out to the beach and it's not like trying to take a giant umbrella or something. And I'm thinking this could easily fit over a picnic table anywhere at a park. Here comes the fun part though. Let's see how easy it is to put this thing back in its carrying case. I was just curious and I wanted to see if it would fit over a picnic table. This is a pretty standard size picnic table and it does. It might be a little tight squeeze in some places, but if it's a really buggy day and you don't want the flies to bother you, this would be perfect. I'm now going to attempt to put this back in the packaging that it came out of, the carrying case. Let's see if I can do it. And I am following the, the instruction. I need help. It's really hard once you get it folded over to make another Just figure it, eight. Twist. Okay, twist it, baby. Twist it. Ah, there we go. Got it back in the in the case. Not too shabby. So I was able to get it back in the case with assistance from Ace. It's not too hard to get it back in here. It's hard to actually twist it and make it fold because it gets tough to do it by yourself. You almost need two people to do it. At least to put it back into the case but was easier than I thought it would be to put it back in the case and I'm definitely looking forward to using it when the bugs start to get bad again this is by the brand called Alventor they have their own website and they have different models I think they even have bigger ones they have other pop-up stuff but if you're wanting this particular one you can also help us out and go and purchase it on Amazon. If you click the item link in our description, we get a little bit of money back and it helps us out some, and it doesn't cost you anything. We would appreciate it if you're interested in the product. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like videos like this and would like to see more of them, give us a thumbs up. This is Amanda from Two Doves Nation reminding you to keep soaring to the end. Out.